Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to control the brightness of a LED using PWM of Raspberry Pi. For circuit construction, we need a LED of any color and a current limiting resistor of value 220 ohm to 1 kilo ohm. And you can use any GPIO pin of Raspberry Pi to connect your LED. I had already write the program and will explain this at last. Use Python LED underscore PWM Pi command to run this demo. Initially, the LED is glowing in full intensity, and now from the terminal we can control the intensity of LED, where zero means fully off and hundred means fully on. So you can see clearly that by changing the values in terminal, we see different brightness level of LED. Now after this, I will shut down my Raspberry Pi using command sudo shutdown space minus h space now. Now I will update you with some of the PWM functions. Basically, there are four functions. The first one is GPIO dot PWM. and it is used for configuring a pin as pwm and at a particular frequency the next function is used for starting the pwm at the desired duty cycle the third function change duty cycle is used for changing the duty cycle at run time now coming to the last function this function is just used to stop the pwm cycle now i will explain the program which i used in this demo first of all we have to import the gpio library for using pwm functions and the time library for using delay functions the led is connected with pin 11 on the raspberry pi board so we declare a variable with the pin name to make program looks generic for future modifications the next step is to set the board and i am using gpio dot board math mode um then we will make the pin as output pin the next step is the configuration of the pwm so we use the gpio dot pwm function to initialize pin 11 as pwm pin and set the frequency as 50 hertz now we will start the pwm at 100% duty cycle this is the reason for 100% brightness initially in the demo after running the python program Now in the while loop we prompt a message on the terminal to enter the duty cycle value between 0 to 100 and then we wait for the value to be entered by the user the change duty cycle functions only accept integer value so we have to convert the string value received from the uh, received above into the integer by type casting it with int Now we will use the change duty cycle function to update the duty cycle. So guys this is the small program and it is used in various other application like controlling the speed of a motor. So guys if you like this video press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.